If you love the Starbucks bottled frappuccinos, but you aren't in love with the price tag or the ingredients, this recipe is for you. And you only need five simple ingredients. Half a cup of espresso or strongly brewed coffee. I recommend purchasing dark roast coffee beans for this frappuccino for a nice roasty flavor. I have used Starbucks coffee beans in the past and it's decent, but these days I like to source organic fair trade coffee beans. I'll have one that's available on Amazon in the description. One quarter cup plus two tablespoons of milk. I like to use whole milk to ensure that the final drink is nice and creamy. If you actually prefer low fat milk, I guess you could use it if you have to. You could even use chocolate milk and skip the sweetener for a super easy mocha version. One quarter cup of heavy cream. Yep, we're adding cream as well. Feel free to substitute with more milk if you prefer a less creamy coffee. One tablespoon plus two teaspoons of pure maple syrup. I usually have maple syrup on hand, so this is the perfect sweetener for me. But if you prefer, you could use vanilla syrup instead. Or you could use chocolate syrup for a mocha flavor. You could also add a tablespoon of cocoa powder if you want that mocha flavor and you don't have any chocolate syrup on hand. Make sure to taste the drink as it might need some extra sweetener with the added bitterness of the cocoa powder. Or you could use caramel syrup for a recreation of the Starbucks caramel frappuccino. This is optional, but I like to add a little bit of pure vanilla extract. I really like the extra flavor that it lends to the drink. And of course you can leave it out if you're using vanilla syrup. Now this recipe is meant to be customizable to your personal preferences. I like the coffee flavor to be fairly strong, so keep that in mind. Okay, the process for making this is pretty complicated. Just kidding, <laughs> it's extremely simple. First things first, you'll wanna make your coffee. If you have an espresso maker, you can simply pull a couple of shots of espresso. But no worries if you don't have a fancy machine, I have a full video tutorial for how to make espresso strength coffee without one. I also have a video tutorial for how to make cold brew in a French press, which would be perfect for this recipe. Once the coffee is brewed, transfer it to the refrigerator to chill. Place the cold coffee, along with the rest of the ingredients, into a glass jar. Of course, you can save the bottles from the Starbucks frappuccinos that you purchased to make your homemade version. The Starbucks bottled frappuccino comes in two main sizes. The smaller size is about 9.5 ounces and the larger size is about 13.7 ounces. I'll have some options for different jar sizes that you can purchase in the description. You can add ice cubes if you wanna drink this right away, like an iced coffee, or if you're making this ahead of time, simply place in the refrigerator until chilled and make sure to give it a good stir. Now it's time for the cost comparison. A 9.5 ounce bottled Starbucks Frappuccino drink will set you back about $1.90 per bottle. My homemade Frappuccino, which is about eight ounces, will only cost about 87 cents per bottle if you use conventional ingredients and vanilla syrup. That's about half price. If you use maple syrup instead of vanilla syrup, it will be more like $1.13 per serving. But if you use all organic ingredients in my homemade version, including mold-free coffee, it'll cost you around $3.47. The bulk of that price goes into the coffee, which is actually quite expensive these days. If you use the Amazon brand organic fair trade coffee, it will be about $2.97 per serving. I'm actually surprised by how much coffee costs these days. So that's my better than Starbucks bottled frappuccino recipe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out this video next that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Do, 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 do. Ah, it's been a while. I have used Starbucks, Starbucks. I have a full video tutorial.